Okay, so welcome to Curvy Heart Face Painting. This is just one of those uh, silly filters that they had, and I felt like playing around with it. This one was kind of cool, kind of weird. I also liked, where is it? This one, I thought this one was neat. Oof. <laughs> All right, and then this one. I thought this one was pretty neat as well. All right. Let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, look at the the hearts. I like that. Or the stars. Yeah, we need to go back to nothing. All right, and let's get you settled. Right here. Hi. So, um, today we're going to be face painting an elephant. I'm so excited. I've never attempted an elephant before. I mean, other than like a, you know, a little guy. This one's going to be like, boom. So, we just need to do our best, or I need to do my best, hopefully walk you through it. If this video doesn't turn out very well, most likely I will end up uh, not saving it and no one will ever see it again. But, you know, we'll see. Let's get our chat open in case anyone wants to join me. Where are you? I always have one person watching my videos at all time, and it's always Ricky, but really it's me using his tablet. So that's always fun. All right, and let's open up chat. Okay. All right, so we're all open, we're all set up. Let me adjust the camera just a wee bit more. So anyone who's been watching my videos knows what's our first thing that we do. We get our hair out of our face. So let's get that. My hair's a little poofy today. Let's get our bun going. And then we're gonna get our little handy things. I'm a sucker whenever I find that I can't find a hair clip or something, I always go to Dollar Tree and buy an abundance and then the cycle just repeats itself over and over and over again. Yeah. Okay, there's that. It's me. And my bun and pull back. It is cold. I don't know about y'all, but in California right now, it is a high of 60. And I have a dog curled up in my lap because she's cold. <laughs> y'all can't see her, but she's there. All right. So we're going to try something. And this looks scary. But it's okay. Because it's not. We're going to try this. So we're going to turn my nose into the trunk. And we're going to have the, like, the trunk come like around here. And then hopefully... I have enough space to do the ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to sponge the gray as much as we can. So I have a little guy. I feel like that one will give us, it won't give us as much coverage, but I feel like it might give us a little bit more control than we're used to with our big one. Maybe we should just go bigger go home. Nah. Okay, so we're going to take one of my oops whites that I turn gray all the time. And we are going to take our handy dandy angle brush because I just, it was the first one I grabbed today. And we're gonna go back and forth and we're gonna load this boy up like that. Now, um, part of the reason why I started doing these videos is because we're at home, I'm bored as, uh, uh, my boyfriend's mom just said. Um, but it's because I can't face paint due to COVID. And I can't do birthday parties and whatnot. And I had to turn down some people wanting me to do their child's birthday parties, which I regretfully have to say no to. But, um, you know, we're trying our best to stay home as much as possible, only interacting with people we know, for the most part, are being safe, but still trying to keep social distancing. But... If you hear any noise in the background, it's because my family is practicing quarantine as best as they can. So all s this is a six adult household. So if you hear noises, you know, I'm not going to scold anyone for getting up and getting their coffee at 9 a.m. But just a heads up, if you hear any background noise, please forgive me. But, you know, we're trying to do our best and our part. Uh, to stay quarantined. We have one that's an essential worker and 
I'm very thankful, you know, that he goes and does his job and that he has not gotten sick yet. So, there's our fun little ETA, or not ETA, what is that called? Uh, PSA, Public Service Announcement. Alright, let's get to painting, shall we? I'm tired of squishing this. Alright, so we have our fancy, fancy, fancy gray. So, I want to build, there's that. And let's go a little bit higher. And then we're going to angle it down like so. And then we're going to cover our eyes and we're going to round our eye sockets. I'm going to just swipe for this. I know I don't like to smear, but for this case, only because we're trying to keep it very shapely, that's not bad. And then we're going to add a little round bit right here for the ear that's going to come down the side of our face. So we're kind of planning out our elephant's face right now. Kind of like this being the ear. I think that's a good size ear. I was kind of worried how it would fit on my face. So f for me to get some of my, most of my inspiration, oh. I find a couple of super talented people on just Google images. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Let's try it. So um, that's where I get most of my designs or ideas from is I take other, you know, I get inspiration from others and I try to make it Kirby heart ish So, um, if you ever want to get inspiration, look it up, look up fun ideas. Um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think I'm not profiting off of this. It's just a tutorial and it's my spin on it. All right, so we're going to come down. I'm going to cover the nose. So we're going to be doing from the up lip, upper lip. Uh, from the upper lip. I'm actually liking this color. And if you ever notice, face paint, as it dries, some t most of the time, it gets darker. So we're keeping our cheek round, but keeping right there the ear mm. we're just my brush is because I'm working with such a small sponge it's very it dries very fast so I'm just having to quickly reload I'm not sticking my whole sponge in the um into the uh, paint and that's because I don't want it to um the whole sponge to be soaking with this color I just want this one part if you notice it's already leaking through some of it that's the game, but it's okay. So we are covering right here. Huh. Hopefully that will darken. Alright, and we gotta make sure, so we started the ear right here. And we gotta bring it down to about, yeah, about here. And we're dabbing. Sirens. It's weird to hear it in my area. And we can swipe. I don't want to. We're just going like this. So th the thing that kind of irritates me, or that is unfortunate about this face paint, is that it's not parallel. Like it won't be parallel. The only thing that's parallel about it will be my um, eyes and my ears. But the nose, I'm going to have to wrap it around to center my face. And so that is going to be the most challenging part of this. Which I'm not really looking forward to, but, you know, we'll, we can do this together, I think. So, let's get this. I just want a nice, solid foundation to work on. And that's why I'm taking my time with this and loading up. Right here looks funny, so we're going to make sure you dab up in that nose right there. Go around. All right, so we have our ears marked. We have the rest of our face marked. I'll clean up the rest of the face later on. But right now, I think we're good. I could 
any Whovians out there, I could totally do this and be an angel. Like, weeping angel. Alright. Just lost anyone who isn't uh, a Whovian. Alright, so let's... I want to start out by sketching our nose. That's going to be the toughest part, and I just want to get it out of the way. So we're going to take our melted black, which now has a tad bit of gray in it, which is okay. And... um. We're going to just get our brush wet, but out our handy dandy squirt bottle. And we're going to go to town. Uh, Alright, so we got it. It's like, ba ba. Alright, so elephants have really cute noses. Let me turn it I had to like. I had to really sketch out the nose. I'm like, I don't want to get this wrong. You know, it's kind of funny, but we'll, we'll get through this. Okay, so I want the tip of our nose to be like, you know, that little nostril tip of their nose. And I already got gray in my contact. It's a little cloudy. Eh, we'll survive. Do. All right, we can do this. All right, so we're gonna have this be the top where it's gonna come out of. So we're gonna outline our nostrils like so, because you know, a, a reason one of the reasons why I picked this is because the person used their own nose, and I like the um. The fact that they used what they had. Alright, so I'm just connecting that. We'll see how this goes. And then bringing it down. Like that. And it's okay. There's a couple extra lines there. We'll make it work. I'm not stressing about it. So we're going to pretend that it's coming across our, no our upper lip. I'm going to paint this lip with my hot pink, just so it kind of looks like their mouth. I mean, I guess I could outline it in gray, and I might later on, just not right this minute. All right, and so let's start from here. Like that. All right, so we have our nose. And we're going to, you know, like this so it looks like you know it's coming around and then it's curved I'm, I'm constantly dipping my this in my black and we are just running it along our nostrils because we're sh trying to show that it is I want to use the word contorted but you know it is and then, so we're just trying. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into my nostril. Right here. Eek. Just a little bit. I know it looks funny. But my contact making this contact is a little cloudy. So I might have to handle that real quick in a second. And bring it down here to this nostril, and we're just connecting right here. I know it looks funny and a little choppy, but I have faith that we can do this. I love elephants. I had to say that. I love elephants so much. I have one tattooed. And then, but I got it when I was old enough to live with my decision. So any children watching this, do not get tattoos. Unless you are at least 25 years old. Um, I waited at least until 23. But, 
Okay, so we have this guy. I'm gonna connect it a little bit more up here. We're gonna let our nose settle because I have a feeling if I keep working it, it's gonna get kind of funky. And you know, and we all know me. I like I always go too far. So I'm just wetting my black again. Then I'm gonna switch my pages back. Look at the bigger picture, not just the nose. I am liking this nose. I think I need to fix this side. It looks a little wacky. I just want to outline the nostril. I'm going to put some white highlights there too to show that it uh, has its ups and downs. This gray line is bothering me, but we'll survive. We can do this. I promise you. All right. Um, so we're going to have a trunk right here. So before I work, we're, let's work from the top down, shall we? All right. So I want to have from the eye and take right here and come down. I feel like that's very elephant s and i'm going to take this and we're going to go like that for the bottom of the elephant's ear and then top it's okay if you go in the hairline all of the all of the uh, face paint that we use is water based so with it being water based it means it easily comes off with soap and water so i love this ear all right we're going to come here and we're going to go whoosh 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 and we're gonna do this kind of detail they normally say for the end, but I just couldn't help myself. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna cover right there. So we're gonna have the trunk come out here and connect that. But yeah, I counted my elephants in my bedroom before I started the video, because I'm like, oh, fun fact about Kimber. I have nine elephants Pictures of elephants, elephant figurines. I don't like that one. Oof. We'll we'll get through that. We might have that. Um. Oh. oh, I just got I just got green line teeth. It's a cold morning. Okay, what was I doing? Um. We'll fix that later. This side, because the trunk is covering where the initial guy would come out, we don't have to worry about it. All right. So this one is going to be a little bit trickier. So because it's easier for me to move this direction, that's what we're going to be doing. So I love going to zoos. Um, and I love feeding giraffes. Oh my gosh, do I love feeding giraffes. And over at our zoo, it's five dollars, and you get to feed the giraffe, and then their giant black tongue comes out and goes and grabs the um and grabs the uh, leaves out of your hand or the branches, and it's so cute. I just want to, I just want to spend my entire paycheck just feeding them. But yeah, and then uh, so every time I go to a zoo, I always have to be like, who can I feed? Who can I feed? I'll feed goats, pellets. I don't care. I just love, I love we being one with the animals. I know it sounded very Dr. Doolittle to me. Hi, Penny. I think I saw you come on. Uh, yeah. So, now we're going to go up and we're going to do this ear on this side or attempt to. It's okay if you go in the hairline. Just try to work with your hair. If you're doing it on a little kid and they have like the little rambles hairs or the baby hairs, you can just spritz them down. I just didn't feel like it, so I didn't. All right. But good morning for everyone who's joining me. Hope you enjoy my elephant. We're working on him. I don't know. What should I name my elephant? You guys have any ideas? The elephant I have on my shoulder that you will cannot see is being held up by heart air balloon and his name is Wilbur. I like Wilbur. He's my friend. 
All right, so we need to add a couple of tufts like this to match this side. I don't know why this ear is bigger than this ear, but it is. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Oh, man, I can't wait to see you guys again. But thank you for joining me this morning. So, you know, let's turn this part into, the, you know, the little, the under, which is really not, but we're just going to make it work for us. You know, the little under part of them that's all scrunchy. Let me make that work. All right. And so we have this. So the thing about this is that it's supposed to look like the elephant's trunk is wrapping around and coming, settling on our nose here. So that's what we're going for. I think once we get our highlights in, it might look a little bit better because right now I just look like an alien with a snake nose. We'll get through this. The first time I'm doing anything like this, so, uh, or not like this, but I think this is, I think this will be interesting. So let's. Let me, let me push my grip like this. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know if I like that. But we'll see. I'm going to go up here and do a couple indents. And then I have a feeling I want to outline that trunk there. I always have a problem with big black lines. But that's me. Alright, so this part of my face is pretty dry. So we are going to grab it a little bit. And then we're going to pull and we are going to attempt to do eyelashes. Like so. I think that's cute. Looks like a spider though, so let's make more. Always, always, always spiral your paintbrush in your paint. And what do you, what does your daughter think I should name my elephant on my face? Hmm. I always have issues. It looks like I'm like scratched the crap out of my eye. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like my favorite. So you know what? We're gonna turn this into an eyeliner situation. She said cupcake. You know what? That is perfect because I'm gonna put a little purple thing right here. And so cupcake sounds reasonable. Good. Good name. Looking forward to making that happen. Oh, that's what I get. But I like, kind of like it. Yeah, so it creates like a little eye, eye socket. Let's see. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this guy, this kind of er, an elephant. So we're making it work. Now looking down. No, that one didn't work out at all. Here, let's try that again. No, but it's okay. We can just make our own. Like that. Makes our eyes look a little bit bigger than they are. Okay, next step is we're going to do our pink. Or whatnot. Should I do gold or not? Let's do purple outlined in gold. Right? Right? That seems good. Oh, I did not clean that brush properly. Get, always, always, always get your brush wet and then test it out to make sure that you cleaned it properly because you don't want to start out funky. So I think I'm going to go with the light purple, the lavender. 
because it's soft and it's pretty and then we'll go in with the um the gold as an outline but yeah i like the name cupcake it's a cute name okay so we're gonna go like that be like one of those fancy elephants in parades One of my all-time favorite movies, and I actually watched it twice since we've been in our, like, quarantine, is, um, Operation Dumbo Drop, which is kind of the inspiration, and I say kind of the inspiration for my, uh, for my elephant that I have on my back, or on my shoulder. I love that movie with, uh, oh, what's his name? Dude from Ghostbusters and Groundhog's Day. Someone help me out. Uh, Bill, I can't remember his name. All right, so the lavender dried, and it's very, uh, not very lavender -y. So let's try purple. All right, but the purple is looking nice. We're going to probably have to do a couple layers because it's on the gray. And I am, it's so cold in my house that I'm getting a little bit of a runny nose, which does not work when you use water soluble face paint. It helps it come off faster. All right. So we're just working this. We'll let it dry and come back to it. But I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Cupcake is almost complete. Almost. So while we're let our stuff do its thing, we're going to take our super whimsical uh, paintbrush. We're going to take our almost brilliant white and we are going to um, add some detail lines. I'm glad she likes it. Cupcake is going to be a hit. I was really worried about the nose. I'm starting to dig it now but I think it just needs some light, nice highlights in order to make it pop. Okay, so if I'm not looking directly at you, which I am now, it's because I had to look at the mirror to apply this stuff. So, I'm going to divert my attention. Alright, so let's do a highlight on the nose. Oop. We're gonna... We'll touch that up with a little black right there. Or I could just wipe it. Ta-da! Alright. Arthur, you want to come say hi? Jose says hi. Anyone who's who, anyone who's listening. So we are just outlining, and hopefully it'll the white will darken a little bit to help it blend in. And I'm and whenever you see me stop painting it's because I'm dipping my uh Elizabeth says hi. He's laughing now. Alright. Do like that. And then rounding off the corner. I'm just been putting this on because they always are wrinkly, right? So, and let's put some up here in our ear and kind of outline that face. Hopefully, it'll darken because I don't want it super, super bright. I mean, the nose I want super bright because it's shiny, but I want it to be kind of just a touch, you know. So we're going to do that. But yes, Operation Dumbo. I never really cared for the movie Dumbo. I think I watched it once when I was a little kid. Didn't really feel it. Or I didn't really like it. But I mean, there's always those who do. I haven't seen the new uh, live action one yet. 
Alright, so, you know, I kind of want to outline the nose in a little bit of white. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more of a touch up under the nose. No, that's not subtle. No, is it? Haha, -ha. always keep your sponges. And I kind of, I like these, but I want them to be a little bit more subtle. To blend it in a little bit more. Remember, you don't have to do everything that I do. You do you. And so I am just dulling out all the white dots I did, uh, lines I did. Kind of trying to. Okay. Good. I'm happy with it. Mm, maybe not so much as I thought. We're going to take this guy. I'm going to get in our black because I want to outline, I want the nose to be very dominant. I want it to, you to know that it's the nose. And so that's just going to take a little bit more work, I think. And then we're going to go up and we're going to, it's still a little wet, but it'll be fine. Right, we're going to take this and we're going to go down. And we're going to go here. And over there. And then we're going to go up here. And we're going to take this line. And we're going to go over the bridge of our nose. And down. Alright. And then we're going to take our brush. We are going, because when I did the dulling, it dulled the black under nose. And I kind of like the black under nose. Man, my lips are too wet or too dry and can't really get a good. Arthur, make an elephant noise. <laughs> when you want to make an elephant noise, you can't. Struggle. All right, let us go forth. And forget uh, our attempt at trying to make an elephant noise. Alright. I would like, I think, to do a little bit of green on the edge. So we're going to rinse off the brush we just used for the black. And get it wet. And we are going to swirl. I know. We're so funny. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. So we're going to outline this guy. I do not like that. But we are learning as we go, right? That's what I'm telling myself. Why don't I like that? Maybe I just need it to be a little bit whiter. A lighter turquoise. Alright, let's try that just now. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We'll let that be. We're going to take our whimsical brush. We're going to dry it off. We're going to take our handy dandy squirt bottle. Squirts our golds. And we are going to spin, darling. Spin. So the reason why you always spin the round brushes is because if you stab or go back and forth, you might bend the bristles. But if you go in a circle, it'll help the bristles intertwine with each other and be nice and merry. Um, but if you have a flat brush, you always want to make sure that it, um, that you go back and forth like that. All right. So if you're not sure, which I'm never hundred percent sure with gold, but it's looking pretty, pretty solid right there. All right. So I want it to be kind of like a net, golden net. We're just going to do a couple lines like this. 
And then we're going to grab, I like to re-dip. And we are going to go from the bottom up this time. So I always try to find, see how like this ends right here? I always like to find the end of one and then I'll work my way from there. I always feel like it's more parallel then. More even, even though I can tell it's not. And then if I want, I can do little dots. It's very uh, jasmine colors. All right, let's continue our dot dotting. All right, and then I want to trim the turquoise and gold. And then I'm going to get wet again. Then, why not? Let's do, let's give her some jewelry. Let's have fun with this. You can stop any time you want. I just always get carried away. And I have a hard time with stopping once I get started. Sometimes I regret it. Sometimes I don't. It's all part of life. You learn. If you don't, you don't. You don't know if you don't try, right? And so far, other than me having a straggler like this, which I probably will, I'm gonna have to cut later, I'm very pleased with what's happening so far. And if you have hairy eyebrows, always make sure to work with them and dab, 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 dab to them like so. All right. Uh, check the time. How much time? What time is it? 37. Hey, we're doing good today. Alright, so I like that. And. Oh, no, no, no. Da, da, no, no, no. oh I forgot the trunks. I was trying to figure out what I was missing. Um, red. X C W R W red. I don't know what that means. You want to enlighten me? Um, so, I dirtied my white, if you can tell. So we're going to spritz her. Take a semi-clean sponge, and we are going to wipe away all that nastiness until we have mostly all nice, pretty white again. Like so. Ta-da! Or at least as ta-da as I can get it for right now. So we are going to make sure our brush is nice and clean. And get it wet. I'm going to spritz our white. And then we're going to go back at her. And we're not close to the end yet because we still have glitter and gems. I love my gems. Nice and loaded. You can always, and I know I didn't do that much this time, but you can always test it. For some reason, mine is still a little gray, my white, which really saddens me. But we'll get through this. I promise you we'll get through this together. All right, so we are going to just round right here. And then come down. We are going to have an awesome video. is trying to send you. I love that message. X C W R W red sounds like a great idea. I love your message. All right, there's one, and now we're gonna start our other one. So the other one, because it's right here, uh, it won't have as much visual of the trunk. We're just going to do her as a horn. Tusk. Tusk is the word I was looking for. Mm, let's make this one bigger now. There. I love that. I don't know if you guys are uh, Phineas and Ferb fans, but they have one episode where they write a song. It's a huge hit, and it's based off of, ba of Baby Talk. And it goes, gitty gitty goo means I love you. It always make, it makes me laugh. Okay, so now our tusks are drying. Um, we're going to outline those, but while we wait, we're going to add some jabs. 
Okay, so I love gems. I'm going to put this gem right here in the center. Like that. And then we're going to get our other gems. Let's see. I like the blues. So let's stick with blues. We're going to put this guy right there. And this guy right here. And then this guy right here. And then this guy right here. And then this guy right there. And then this guy right here. Really? I love that message. I XX you too. I hug, hug, hug. And I dropped one of these guys. Ooh, do you like my crown? That's pretty, huh? I love gems. Ooh, we should put some on the tusks, don't you think? That's what my baby said. Mow, 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 when my heart starts something. Get you, get you, goo. Well, never gonna stop. Get you, get you, goo means I love you. Sorry. Okay, so let's outline our tusk, and then I want to put gems around the tusk. So we're going to take this guy and we are going to outline the tusk and like that. I kind of feel like it's uh, there. I like that. It makes it look a little more like it's connected. All right, cupcake is almost done. Oh, I forgot my pink lip. Silly goose. Where is my pink lipstick? This is, I guess would be its top. Yeah. All right, put that guy there. I'm gonna take our black that we just outlined our tusk with. We're gonna go close our mouth. We're gonna go this draw and I love this so much. All right. Okay, let's put some gold on my tusk. I want to put, uh, let's put one right there. Oh, 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. That one didn't work. It's okay though, we have more. Brown, chicken, brown, brown. Meow, 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 meow. Mm. I have so much gems on me. I'm gonna put this guy. It'll let me stick it. I'm gonna put this one right here. <laughs> Missing something. We're gonna go into our nasty white gray color, which is the color of our elephant for the most part. And I feel like the undernose got lost, so. Ooh, nope, that made it get lost more. Okay. Maybe we need more black. Always keep this guy. Mm. Get you, get you, get you. Well, I never stop. Get you, get you, get you. Means I love you. All right, glitter time. So now we're gonna bust out our purple glitter. Always spritz our face first. 
So you put the gems on first, then you spray it with water and then glitter. Because if you put the gems on after the glitter is already on, it, they'll fall right off. We don't want that, do we? So we are going to spritz, spritz, spritz. Close your eyes and mouth. Did a couple extra spritzes. Close your eyes and mouth and glitter time. Ready? Poof time. I know I said poof time, but it sounded like poop time. I wanted extra glitter. I think I got it. And just because, I know I just said you don't do this, but I feel like I can break all my own rules today. I'm going to take some blue gems. Where I'm going to put them at our corner of our eye to kind of elongate them. There. Oh yeah, I like that a little bit better. Well, Arthur, make the make the elephant noise. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, so. What do you think of the elephant? I like cupcake. Cupcake looks cute. Let me change my lighting. Maybe that will. There's. No, no, no. Let's brighten her up. So here's cupcake. I like cupcake. I think cupcake's cute. <laughs> Hi, I did it. My dog is in my lap right now, going, what was that? <laughs> I'm glad she enjoyed that. Makes me feel better. Okay, well, our elephant is done, I think. No. Arthur's still trying. Give it up. Get up, man. It's not worth it. I want... Oh, thank you. I'm going to do a thicker outline of the head. Like so. I want it to be more defined. Like that, yeah. I like that a little bit better. There we go. Now it's more defined from the ears. Get you, get you, goo means I love you. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Join me at noon for a donut and some coffee. Get it? Because I'm going to have a donut on my face. <sighs> It'll be cute. Mm. What color donut frosting should I have? Anything? Let me know. Oh, no. I just lost a gem. My eyebrows got a little too active for it. Oh, well, they're going to come off. But let me know what color donut I should paint. But I'm thinking that I'm going to have a donut with a bite out of it and a cup of coffee on the other side. And my coffee is calling my name now, so I think I better get to it. But I like cupcake. Cupcake is cute. All right. Well, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching with me. And um, I had fun this morning. All right, I'll see you at noon. Bye. No, no, no. Oh, it's not.